G'day guys, welcome to today's shop talk video. And this one is basically part of my usually yearly refresher on why I charge what I charge. So I find my pricing structure to be reasonably fair considering there is plenty more expensive options, but there are also plenty of backyarders that charge cheaper than me. And what you get every now and then is a customer that tries to haggle you down on price. And it might be a simple thing. So for example, the one in question today, that, or at least the other day that refreshed my memory of why I stay firm on my prices, is that a customer came in, dropped in a Windows 8 machine, and said they would like it reinstalled with Windows 10. They said they've attempted to reinstall it themselves, but it asked for a product key. Typically I find with Windows 8 machines, it's embedded into the BIOS. You can usually go, I don't have a key, and continue the installation and usually perfectly fine at the end. Windows 10 will acknowledge Windows 8 and it'll just go from there. So they said they've done that and thinking they've done about 30% of what needs to be done, but they didn't get there in the end. Why was that? So I said, oh yep, it's $50 Australian to reinstall your machine with Windows 10 and you'll be right to go from there. Because I was going under the impression that, okay, it would just click, I don't need the key or don't have the key and Windows will acknowledge the Windows 8 key. That didn't happen in this particular instance. But also before that, they haggled me down to $40 for the, for the reinstall. And the more that I dealt with this machine, the more it was not worth my time to even work on this machine. It was a second or third generation Toshiba laptop. It had a 500 gig SATA hard drive, and it was running that ridiculously slow that if it was any other, like if the person didn't haggle me down, I, just, I probably would have almost put an SSD in there free of charge just so I didn't have the burden of dealing with this slow machine. So, proceeded to do the reinstall. Reinstall is done. Took about an hour and a half as opposed to half an hour for solid state drive, even with it being an older Intel. And you've done the install, and Windows has come up as please enter product key. Windows is not activated. So, I've reinstalled it once. It took the machine about an hour and a half to do that. I'm working at 10 bucks less than I was previously charging them for. And in the end, I had to use another Windows product key that I had around, just an old uh, secondhand transferred product key. And that got it going again, but also required another reinstall of the system. So in the end, I spent about three hours on a eight-year-old machine to reinstall it for $40 and then lost a Windows 7 product key in the process that I'd previously had. So overall, hold strong to your value. If you value yourself at X amount of dollars for a job, don't let people undermine you, undercut you, belittle you. Just hold firm. Say, oh, that's what I do. That's what I charge. And if they don't like it, there should be plenty of other places they can go to. You aren't the only place in town. There are other places they can go to. So. Even though you're a single, might have a single shop, you might be working out of home, you might be in a big business, you stick true to your prices. Because I find if people are willing to chip away at your prices like that, what else are they going to chip away at? I commonly don't do on-site work. I have about three customers I exclude that for, and I will refuse to accept anyone else to do on-site work for, period. Purely for the fact is, once I start accepting outside work for one or two people, I'm gonna to have to do that for probably 10 people. And there's not simply not enough time in my day, in my personal life, to be able to offer that service. So simply, I don't offer it. Going back to time and costings, if they chip away at your costings and your time, then you're belittling yourself. It, I see some of the tasks, like I know as soon as people try and haggle me on price, or at least I've been refreshed this year for it, that something's probably gonna go wrong, that it's gonna end up costing me more time on that device at the price, the lower price we agreed upon. Where typically, I'll say 50 bucks for an install, a customer says, sure thing, or oh, I'll just do it myself. I say, sure thing, do that as well. It's, that's the thing. If people come to you expecting you're the only option, the only place to go, then that's not right, that's not accurate. They can take it to the backyarder, they could probably take it to a friend, they could probably take it to a more expensive shop. You aren't the only choice, you aren't the only option. Their other option was simply not to upgrade their machine and spend nothing. So there's always options. 
But definitely remember, value your time, stay true to your costings, and I guess that's all for today. Anyway, that's another shop talk, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.